Anyway, that's the truth. We are so happy to be here. Of course, when we walked out here, of course, a lot of you recognize the fact that we're we're not the original Smothers Brothers. <laughs> Believe me, those boys would have loved to have been here at such a prestigious buyers group like you. But uh, they they passed away in 1969. <laughs> Terrible plane crash. Oh, stop that! Come on. <laughs> One of them wasn't a pilot. <laughs> All right. That's not funny. You know, I think uh, I, I'd like to, uh, since this is a historic night, and there's a fantastic list of performers that you're going to see on this stage tonight. And I'd like to, to run a little video clip we put together of the, of the old days, the heady days of the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. So, Marty, could you run this? Bring you back uh, a little back in time to the 60s. From Television City in Hollywood. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Smothers Brothers. The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. Mom liked you best. You lower your voice. Mom liked you best. I know that Mom always liked you best. My mom, my mom always liked my brother best. And now here's a very special guest of ours, the voice that my brother and I heard on radio many, many times when we were growing up. And they're really wild. And this is the first time they've appeared on television in the United States. And here they are to sing their latest release. Very talented group of men. Very lovely distraction. The voice of music, the Bee Gees. The fabulous Ike and Tina Turner Review. The genius, Mr. Ray Charles. The Doors. What you say? Can't you see that I am not afraid? Well, it's just that you can tell who's running the country by how much clothes people wear. Who's running the country? Yeah, but you can tell by how much clothes the people wear by who's running. What do you mean? Like some people can afford more clothes on and other people less clothes on? That's right. Exactly. See, some people, the ordinary people, are the less ons. See? Uh huh. <laughs> They're the less ones. Well, who's running the country? The morons. The late great Patrick Layton Paulson, simple savior of America's destiny. We miss you, Pat. True, all the present candidates once denied they had any intention of running. But the fact that I am also a liar doesn't make me a candidate. <laughs> what would happen if the human race, instead of having two arms, had been created with one arm in the center of their body? Huh? Well, I'll clap like this. <laughs> You know how fast you were playing? <laughs> so won't you join us as we share a little tea with Goldie? I'd like to greet all you ladies as I usually do. Hi. <laughs> we all know Lady Godiva, but how many of us remember the famous ride of Lord Godiva? <laughs> What is your problem? She said just because I'm red, I'm not a frog. She said. Well, he is not a frog because well, frogs are green. But that's not entirely true. Well, now you know what happens when you let one red frog in. <laughs> Waist deep in the big muddy, the big fool says to push on. Waist deep in the big muddy, the big fool says to push on. Now, Ho Chi Minh sure ain't no friend that's playing for all to see. And I know someone 
got a fight over there, but why does it have to be me? So I wish you well, Sarge. Give them heck. I'm bound for Canada, you know. And if you ever get a war without blood and gore, boy, I'll be the first to go. But until then, Mr. McNamara. Good script. <laughs> Nothing funny in this. Here you are, boys. We're through censoring your show. Do you have something important? Something very important to say on American television. You know, we don't, we, a lot of times we can't, we don't have opportunity to say anything important because it's American television. Every time you say uh, something, and yeah. try to say something important, they, uh, they, uh, well, whether you can say it or not, keep trying to say it. The war in Vietnam keeps on a raging. Blacks and whites still haven't worked it out. Pollution, guns, and poverty surround us. No wonder everybody's dropping out But we're still here Oh yeah, we're still here We face the same old problem But we're still Because of the following special program The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour Will not be presented this evening But we're still here oh, we're, we're still, still here. here They thought that we were goners but we're still here, but we're still here, yeah, we're here. Thank you. And so are you. You're all here, too. I hope, I hope this, that clip brought back some memories to some of you. Folks who were old enough to stay up till 9 o'clock on Sunday night back then. It, and it, we look at the world today and we're, yeah. uh, we're, the morons are still running the country. But let me say about politics. We hear it all the time. All of us are political by nature. And we keep hearing politics. That's politics. Po- but I looked up the word politics. It comes from the Greek root poly, meaning many, and ticks, meaning Blood-sucking parasites. So, many blood-sucking parasites. Parasites. You, you think that's really clever, don't you? That was not the original definition. It's just sort of how it turned but, out. You know, but politicians, neither here nor there, politicians but. are not born. They're not. No. What are they? They're, they're excreted. Oh, shut up. That is just enough of that. Now, that's what...